Hi again. We're just entering the chasm of time. We're currently in the upside down world. Um, an episode or two ago, we found a way to turn, to go between the uh, the flipped world and the, the right side up one. So we're in the flipped one right now. Based on the name of this place, I think we might learn a little bit more about that mechanism. Was I just in this room? No, this is different. Hmm? This is a dead end. I can't even see the other side of this enormous chasm. Nowhere left to go. Nothing left to do. Greetings, this world. I knew we'd be seeing uh, you here. Could we not do this right now? The world has ended. Everything I ever cared for is lost. I don't have any patience left for your nonsense. You are my insurance, Bisco. My ace in the hole. It's too late. It is too late. It's just a few steps to north, too. We can fix both of these things if we wait here together for a moment. There we go. What is that? It's a time saver. Ten thousand years if you don't stop going. Now hold on. Things will be upside down twice if you go back that far. And what's that gonna solve, huh? You could warn someone. You could live. What do I care about people from the past? You. As in, all of you. Oh, then it's worth a shot. You better not be lying. And here I thought you didn't care anymore. Interesting how a... Uh, uh, New frame of reference can change the mind. Hmm. Oh, this is getting complicated. So not only can we swap between the the turned current world and the unturned one, we can also go back ten thousand years to the last time it happened. Ooh. Okay. Traps are perhaps the most fundamental device that separates us from beasts. These complex mechanisms allow us to acquire food when not needing to be anywhere around. They are efficient, clever. It seems reasonable that when our ancestors were forced into the belief, not everyone up and forgot how to craft snares. I'd wager that the VAT recipe for dungeon architects is not entirely different from some of the ancient obsolete hunter recipes. A new application is all. Once to trap prey, now to deter surfaces from meddling. And to date, it has been nothing but successful, and I imagine they will continue to work flawlessly. Makes sense. Challenge completed, multiple undo? Oh, I get it. That was odd. Is Guess I moved chapter time now? again. Wonder if things are the right way up here. Here we are. Stitching time. I guess the question is, which is the right way up? Is there a right way up? Or does it just flip every 10,000 years? Because this was... Was this just after it flipped? Did he say? I can't actually remember. Where am I? What year is it? Ha! You just, dear friend, take my dagger. Yours is to be. I'll just slow you down. Sure, I'll give it a try. Thanks, buddy. Whoa! A tiny little thing. Okay, okay, I see. So this is probably like a really big sword. I gave him my sword? No, I want that back. Oh man. <laughs> okay, so this is like the really big sword. I just turn and move at the same time, I guess. Maybe there's some other differences that aren't immediately apparent. So there's another time saver. Stairs, if you say so. Hey, there's another one of those vortex thingies. Guess time's all out of joint in these parts. I wonder why. Well, if I don't find anything or anyone to help in these parts, I guess I can always try my luck in some other place. Or time. This is gonna get crazy. Already kinda has. Oh? Okay, so I have to poke to, uh, to do any damage. I can't, can't swing. So swinging is kinda useless. I guess unless I need to hit an orb or something. Ah, and he also moves at the same time as he kills something. Well, doesn't that make this situation extra dangerous? Like, I can do that, but this is gonna kill me, right? Oh no, he does both! Ooh, okay, never mind. I like this thing. Ha! It's a 
totally different way of thinking about the game, but I guess that's what, what all the weapons are. Now this one's gonna kill me. Yeah. What if I do this? Ooh, okay, so no defense with this thing. Okay, good to know. I can't go through there at all. I want my sword back. <laughs> this thing's kinda cool, but I want my sword back. Beethor's normally kinda reluctant to give up his sword. I wonder why I was so quick to take that guy's offer. Might be a problem. This is definitely a problem. Lost a lot of time doing that. those in there too? Man. Mm. Okay, so I don't think I actually made any progress there. Places like that are full of death. Although I guess I can do that a few times. This is not making me any progress. Okay, we need a, we need another uh, different way to do that. So if I stay here, that's a little better. There we go. That also lets me pull those out here. Good. to this thing now. <laughs> Situations like that are much less dangerous. How do I kill you? Ah, I see. I think. Yeah, it's simple. This thing's got new sounds. <laughs> Have I heard this before? Well, I gotta admit, that guy was right. I don't think I could have managed that with my sword. Wouldn't have been able to turn quick enough. Yep. Wanna try something? Okay, that doesn't blow it up. Interesting. Can I push it? No, that does still. Okay. I get to fight goblins with these? Oh, boy, this will be quite something. Uh, oh, hey, you know what? I can't push those at all now, can I? Yeah, no, there's, there's just no pushing those whatsoever. Yeah, all right. Oh. Oh, that's cool. Are these all the same? 
seem to be. Oh, a Wubba. Do I need him, or can I do without? I don't think I can do without, because that... Yeah, no, I can't do without. Open toggle. Hmm. No, wait a minute. Okay, so that one doesn't... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Got it. Ah, okay, that's what I figured. Not heavy enough to, to drop trapdoors. So this probably also won't actually... Yeah, I'm pretty sure... It, yeah, it doesn't block anything from moving into, into my space. Okay, Wubba, how exactly are you going to help me here? I see, I see, I see how you're gonna... No, no, I don't see. Thought I could lure you up there, but I can't. Unless maybe... Hmm. Hmm. Oh, I see. I see. Uh, okay, I see how it's going to help me. Uh, it, if, if it toggles another one at the same time... Then... Well, no. I thought it was going to double toggle that so that I'd be able to get back out. Oh, no, no, no. They only affect their own, uh, their own things. There's no approach to that that lets me survive in any way. So I have to do something with this Wubba, but I'm not sure what. I could just move on, but I'm sure I'm going to have to clear this room. It is red. Crazy looking map. Let me think for a little bit about how this Wubba could help me, because I'm not quite getting it yet. Okay, I haven't come up with anything yet, but I had the thought that maybe there's, uh, maybe there's some interaction I can do with it that I didn't know before with this. Like, I, okay, I can't push it. I can't turn it like that. I don't see any way to, um... Well, one, I don't see any way to get a Wubba in here with me, and two, I don't see how that would help me at all. I mean, that's kind of cool. Can I, uh, I can't wait. I can't slash. I can't move. I don't get it. I don't understand this room. Let's uh, let's come back to it later. Maybe I'll figure something out. Um, it'll help me. Which one is that? It's decoy. Moving around bombs is going to be a lot different. Looks like death waiting for me there. 
As soon as I step on that, both of those are going to pounce. And there's nothing I can do to kill both at once or get away from them. Not so concerned about this rattlesnake, although I am going to let him loose as soon as I do that. I wonder if a seep can maybe go through a rattlesnake body? No, that's silly. And that wouldn't help me anyway. Ah! Bombs clear vines. Or thorns. Uh, okay, bombs clear thorns. So, not that that really helps me at all, does it? Because I can't light that fuse. I can't step on that without blocking this. Ah, but a rattlesnake can. Okay, okay. I need you to go in there. That's what it is. Now, wait a minute. Some of them can't go through force arrows. I know serpents can't. Can rattlesnakes? Let's, uh, let's determine that before we, before we do anything else. The answer is yes, they can. Okay. needs to be shorter before I take you in there. How much shorter? I'm not quite sure. Can I do that? Is that possible? Yeah. How about like that? That might be too short if there's such a thing. might be perfect. Let's see, what's the correct way to do this? That's not it. If I just go around in a circle, are you going to eventually... Go in there? No, I need to go diagonally for you to stop seeing me. Once I'm there, I'm dead. Actually, no, I want to put you in here. Well, no, I can't get out of there now. So wait, what? I thought this out poorly. I don't really have a plan here. Okay, well, you're in there. Eh, this might work. Yeah, okay, let's we kill those. And let's we hit the decoy. Okay, okay, we're good. Ah, no, 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 no. Also, no. Oh, oh, when I was here, I could have walked out, which is what I want to do, I think. So I need to get back there again. I don't really know how I did that. These things move just a little too chaotically for me to really know how to make that happen. Like, if, I think if I just have it coming toward the square... Then go over to a place like that, so there's like a chance that it'll go in? If I just wait here, maybe? No? I keep doing that, that's just gonna kill me. Nope. Nope. I made it happen somehow. Uh, if your tail were a little bit longer, that might work better. Although it'd give me a lot less room to move around. 
I probably need to get him in here without me going in there. And once again, a longer tail would make that easier. Yeah, moving these things around is one thing that I never really entirely learned how to do properly. I kinda sorta halfway understand it, but not totally. Like, if you're already moving in that direction, I know if I get into the same row as you, you'll keep on going. But if I go into your column, you'll come toward me. Okay, I can keep moving you north like that. Now I'm going to move over here, and you keep going. How do I manipulate you? I think with a tail that short... Well, no, that doesn't make it any harder. His tail would have to be at least four long for him to have trouble moving because of it. Okay, so that'll keep you moving that way. I need to do that again here. Okay, so let's see. I set it up like this. What if I set that up over here? Oh, well, there we go. Okay. Just sort of happens. All right, so you'll go around in circles forever if I'm here. If I just wait... It'd be nice if you went the other direction. Oh, wait, hang on, hang on. Um... No? No. You have to already be moving away from me to keep moving away when I'm when I'm in your row? Is that how it is? Oh, now you're stuck. That does nobody any good. I feel like I should understand these things by now. Like, why don't I... <laughs> I complicate it. And does it even help anything if I'm out here? I still have to kill the seeps. Does putting a decoy with its dagger facing a bomb actually blow up the bomb? Wait, why have I not... No, oh, that's why. Hmm. Well, I made this happen somehow once. Let's try and make it happen again. Don't know how I did it. So let's just fiddle around with this thing. Oh, oops. And hope we... Oops. <laughs> Dang it. Hope we get it again. If it kept going straight there, it would have been right. This is a repeating pattern, isn't it? I made it happen somehow. Don't know how. Don't understand. I need to need to read up on how these work or something, because I don't get it. Now, what did that actually help me do? Not really anything. I still have to go in there, because those arrows prevent me from going back. Clear. But if I do this, that does not blow anything up. Thank <laughs> you. 
and putting him on this. Lighting that doesn't, uh... I can't do that first because that's closed. I don't get it. Right, that's two puzzles in a row, I don't understand. Well, okay, instead of just sitting here and just being stuck on this one for a while, let's look ahead a little bit and see if we can solve something up further. We'll come back to this one with more insight later, hopefully. First couple of rooms in here were just uh, dagger combat tutorials, but now it's ramping up the difficulty rapidly. What's this fuse for? Oh, wait, wait, wait. I can light it there. Won't do anything, though. Because I can't push those. I don't really expect to be able to kill all those goblins at once. Like, seriously, that fuse isn't going to do anything. Let's try. Maybe I can. Nope, not like that. No. Not a lot I can do to really predict what's going to happen here. That was better. Is it good enough? I wanted you two to get it aligned, but you just didn't do it. Okay, let's see. How did I do that? I did that and that. If I did that instead... It doesn't help me. Oh, but it does. Eh, almost, 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 but not quite. swap places every time I do that. Doing the same thing from another angle. I might be able to use the briars to my advantage somehow. Yeah, right here. This is the key. Okay. That was simple. No point to that fuse. Just for decoration. It's a lot of brains. Oh. Weird. So I get a choice between either going through the brains here and getting out of there quickly, or going through the rattlesnake here and getting out of there much more slowly. I don't think I don't think the rattlesnake would let me out that uh, fast enough for that. What? What? Fire trap. Well, that's something new. Wait, what? Huh. Okay, so choose one or the other.
See, after doing that, I really want to go back and try the other one. Well, then I wasn't in time, anyway. Ah, I see why that's hard. Kinda. It's not. Oh, but I have to kill all of them. Okay, right. So I'm gonna make... Hmm. Mm-hmm, okay. Not quite. Ooh! Ooh, that's interesting. Okay. Let's try this. No, wait, that's no good. Alright, well I did that. Much as I want to try the rattlesnake again. I'm not gonna not gonna do it. But that's pretty cool, so that gives you gives you a choice of two different ways to tackle that. Alright, well it looks like there's a lot more to this level yet. Let's take a peek. We have two rooms we don't understand how to solve yet. A few more we haven't tried yet. I just want to explore. Oh man, yeah, there's a lot to this place. Uh, okay, well, um, we're gonna have to pick this up next time. Still quite a lot to it. Uh, I'll noodle on these two puzzles. Like, this one seems like it has to be so simple, but I just don't understand what I can do with this wobble that'll help me at all. Um, this one... Yeah, I'm just missing some crucial piece of sequencing that I need to do here. I don't get it. Um, anyway, we'll continue in Woodland Glade next time. See ya!